Hi everyone, so continuing on the trend of 2009 best buys, I thought it would be good to do my best hair care buys because it's something I spend quite a bit of money on. I'm just standing on makeup. Um, it's something I spend quite a bit of money on so I thought it'd be nice to share with you out of everything I bought, which things are actually worth it. Um, it would also be interesting to do a video on which ones aren't, but I won't go there. <laughs> um, so I've kind of divided them up. Um, these are just products that I've used fairly consistently throughout the year. Products that I've bought twice or one of two of them I've bought three times that I kind of consider essentials now and that they were definitely my best buys of 2009 and I'll be buying them again in 2010. First thing, it is the Frizzies Miraculous Recovery Mask. Uh, Miraculous Recovery Strengthening Cream Mask. I love this. It just does exactly what it's supposed to do. I leave it on for three minutes once a week. I find it very hard to leave it in for, for any longer just because when I wash my I don't wash my hair when I'm having my shower I wash it separately and the reason for that is that my skin is quite sensitive and I don't want shampoo running onto my skin it kind of defeats my whole you know no chemicals on my body on the skin of my body kind of ethos that I've taken on the last couple of months so I'm going to all the bother of making so really nourishing and you know even the scrubby one that's and there's no point in doing all that and getting rid of the bumps in my arms if I'm gonna let shampoo pour down on top of it and I'll get the rash again so if I get to three minutes I'd kind of be lucky sometimes I probably only leave it in a minute but I've definitely never left it on for more than three minutes and it works brilliant really love it it is for kind of hair that's quite uh, damaged it doesn't weigh down the hair which I like Okay, the next thing is a mousse and it's Charles Worthington Volume Boosting Mousse. This, okay, um, last time I did a hair care video, people were asking which ones I could get in boots, etc. You can get this in boots and probably in the supermarket and you can get this one definitely in boots. I just buy them small because if I travel, I can just throw it in my bag. I do have a big one up in the bathroom though. And I find it's more for texture than I like with mousse, not so much the volume, but I love the texture. and. Most mousses I've tried, I've hated the kind of residue feeling. This one, I just, I really like. So that's a winner. Um, the next one is by Kuhn. I don't know, really, I don't know much about this brand. This is one of those things that my, my dad um, got me from the salon. And I don't, um, I don't know anything about them. I'm sure if you Google them, there'd be plenty of information. It's K-E-U-N-E. -E, but their hair care range is fantastic. But this is Blend Revive Gloss. Now, I originally bought this to actually use it on my uh, hair extensions. Do you hear me saying bye? <laughs> my dad originally gave me this to use on my hair extensions because they were kind of getting brittle at the end and this just made them like silk again. But I've since used it occasionally just in my own hair. Now, you can't put it anywhere near the root. This is ser a serious glosser. Um, so, well, like any gloss, it'll weigh down your hair. Uh, but if my hair looks a bit frazzled or anything like that, I just do kind of one spritz on this side for, from a distance and one spritz on that side. Very occasionally, if my hair is very, very dry, I've sprayed it up in the air and then just like duck down and let it kind of... Anyone who can see me through my bedroom window must think I'm crazy, but it works. Uh, the next one is... The, some of these were recommended by people on Twitter and YouTube. Actually, most of them kind of were. So, but I can't remember everyone who recommended them all. But I know that um, I really listen to you. <laughs> so, um, on Twitter, particularly when people leave me recommendations or Amy have to try this, I kind of feel like, oh, I have to try it. <laughs> um, and I'm also kind of Twitter is kind of a good place if you want to catch me and ask me a question. Twitter is probably a good place to get an, an instant response from me because um, I sometimes have. Um, a lot of mail through YouTube and I have to kind of assign a day to kind of get through it all. So this um, this is the John Masters and John Masters Organic Sea Mist and you've heard me talk about this before, the sea salt spray with lavender. I first saw this on Lollipop26's channel and she loved it and I liked what it did, well, she did a demo with it, I liked what it did with her hair. So um, I bought it. Now it doesn't do to my hair what it does to hers unfortunately because my hair is so straight and boring um but it you know if I add a little bit of texture it adds a little bit of texture if I want kind of wavy hair it adds a lovely bit of texture too much of it is awful though it can just ruin your hair and you have to kind of almost wash it and start again but a little bit is lovely the next thing is uh by Schwarzkopf now 
So last time I said this, a lot of German people commented saying that I was saying it wrong. I have no idea how to say it. Schwarzkopf is how <laughs> is how I'm reading it. And um, my, my dad had stocked some of their stuff in his salons before, but I bought this one myself from the hair suppliers. But um, I know that that's how he pronounces it. Maybe we're all saying it wrong. But this is Silhouette Pure Formula Invisible Hold Colour Brilliance Hairspray in Super Hold. And it's my favourite hairspray and I love it. And it doesn't dull your colour, which I think is really important. There's no point in ha getting your colour done and having lovely highlights or low lights and then using a, um, a hairspray that just dulls them and mats them all down. So um, that's a really nice product and I bought it in Sally Hair Supply. Um, the next one is was recommended by a few by lots of people, so many people. As soon as I tweeted um, months ago, this was like God, it was like six months ago. I tweeted that I, I wanted more volume in my hair, and lots of people got back to me and they recommended this. And it's Catwalk TG Root Boost. It is brilliant. I'm just noticing that there's one that I didn't bring down, and it's fantastic. Um, it's TG S Factor. Um, plumping spray I like that as well but I like these both the same I think they kind of do the same thing for me they have the same effect on my hair so I don't need both um, I use both but I don't need both but this is really great and the last one was sent to me by um, Anne Marie just a girl on, on a, a lovely girl on Twitter who was really nice and sent me some stuff and it was it's shockwaves styling plus conditioning gloss serum now this is not something I would have bought myself just because I would be thinking it, oh um, new ultimate effects and I think yeah blah blah it's all lies but I've been using this every single time I've washed my hair so what I after I wash my hair uh, and it's kind of like let's say 60% dry I apply this to the root or the or the S factor but mainly this and then I apply this down uh, the main body of my hair just maybe from under my ear down and it leaves your hair like silk so those are my best buys of 2009 i'm really excited about trying some more hair care products and um, maybe having some new addictions if there are any hair products you think i should try in 2010 let me know because i'm dying to see them <laughs> have a great day everyone and i'll talk to you all very soon bye